This video is an introduction into Pitscon Multilanguage, how to apply dynamic multilanguage for Oracle Forms and Reports applications. As an example, I'm going to use the orders FMB from the Summit application. And, I, to, dis and to show what Pitscon is able to do, I added a static alert and a dynamic alert and actually um, a, a message to show you the ability how Pitscon handles these. When we take a look into the source code for this exit button, we can see that we do have here the static alert, that we do have here set up the dynamic alert with the message, and we also have set up the message itself. How Pitscon handles it, therefore, we have. I sh therefore, I show you now the several steps you have to do. In multi-language itself, you can define the languages you want to translate to. In this example, we are taking from American English to German. The next step would be in display control creation to change all boilerplate text to display items or prompts. The reason why we do that is because boilerplate text cannot be changed in runtime, just in design time. So we need to change them to an item that is actually um, changeable in runtime, what a display item or a prompt will be. The next step is then the text handling. In text handling, we actually handle the messages, the alerts, uh, properties, and so on. Or if you have any custom built uh, functions, procedures that handle messages, you can also add them to your list. All strings that needs to be translated, we will um, replace with this database functions, a string translation get string. The next step then will be application languages. Application in application languages, we now can load uh, the forms modules, we can load the menu modules, the reports, and so on, so we can start to work to do the translation. A nice feature in Pitscon is actually the dictionary. In the dictionary, I can do the complete translation for all my form, forms objects, modules, uh, menus, whatever it's necessary to translate and have it at one place to translate everything. So I have here a long list of the uh, strings that needs to be translated. So I can go for example here into edit main translation and can go in here and say put in here the uh, term for auto query and that's the German word. You can save it and this is then saved and is available then for all future translations you can do also in the future. We also provide a, a proxy for a web service so you can do an online translation um, for your application. When you've done the translation in the dictionary, you can go back to application languages and actually create a translation for every single form um, from American to German or French or any language you selected before in multi-language. A nice feature of Pitscon is actually that it gives you a list how Pitscon would translate it. So for example, when we translate from American to German, you can see that, for example, this one is one character lower, uh, smaller, and this one is actually one character more. Another nice feature is we have a visual graphical interface that shows you how the canvas would look like. And so here we can see, for example, that with this uh, character in the German language, we do have a little overlapping. And it also gives you the ability to actually change it right in here. And when you save it, then you can see, okay, now this could fit and it works for me in my case. So when you exit here, you can save everything and then the next step would be to go to data administration and create actually a script that you then can run against your production database. So when the script is generated, it looks like this. It creates you all the table that are necessary to run your application in multi-language mode and it also populates uh, insert statements for the actual translation so you do have everything in the different um, languages and it populates it creates the tables and populates the tables that are necessary
So when we now go back to our replaced form and the new code will then look like this. So you can see that Pitscon actually changed the alerts um, with an ID and it replaced in this case the message um, with a specific message. It changed our alert to, a spe to the with the specific um, calling of the procedure and our message will be changed is changed. So when we now start our forms application in the multi-language mode after we processed everything in Pitscon that's necessary I also added a little button to show you how that you can change the uh, language in runtime. Right now we're in English when we press the button it actually changed everything to German. So we have up here the German translations we do have here um, our uh, German buttons and we also have here our changed um, translations that we actually adjusted in the visual editor. When we now click the exit button, what's in German beenden, then we also get our static alert and we also get our dynamic alert translated and we also get our message translated. So to apply multi-language to Pitscon is not very hard to do. It, to apply multi-language to your application with Pitscon is not really hard to do. So if you're interested to know more about it, please contact us, um, take a look at our website. Um, we can actually do a proof of concept to show you that this is to apply your application and make your application ready for multi-language. will just take us um, a few hours to to prove it to you that this works. So please contact us and uh, we can help you on your multi-language task.